Hello there. Welcome to another one of my Revit videos. And in this video, I'm going to be adding a uh, entry deck to my house. Now you may have noticed this door here. It, it's not leading anywhere. It doesn't really do anything at the moment. It's just a hazard, really. So what I'm going to do is add an entry deck, which uh, someone could just walk up here from the side and get access to the second floor. So it's basically like, you know, door here, door here, you know, walk in. Now to do this, I'm going to be extending the uh, the floor here to um, outside of the house to make a something like this here, this balcony. So to do that, I'm going to need to edit the um, floor, so let's get started. Open O2 lower level where the floor is, scroll up to it. Okay, uh, just click the floor, the manage tab will open, and we're going to hit edit. Okay, so now we can redraw it. And we're just going to start by getting the line to select the end point, and just go up. 3,300 mils. Okay, and just cancel. Yeah, back to modify. Alright, now you can't really have the floor with uh, a line going for us, it's all going to be one piece. You can't have two. So we're going to have to really delete some of this and redraw it. Like this um, part, for example. So uh, let's get this split tool. And we'll split it here. Split it here. And we'll just split tool and lost it. Okay, and split it here. Split it here. Go back to modify. Delete this little chunk. Delete this part. And back to line. Start connecting everything back together again. Okay. And there. Uh, another part here. Okay, the other side. And let's go away to the end point. Okay, now let's go about a, f uh, a thousand mils here. Let's get it straight first, of course. There we go, uh, a thousand mils. Alright, and let's just connect it off. There. Now you see here how I split the um, the parts of the door. This is um, so we can really interconnect both of these floors. I mean, they have to be one piece. Remember? You can't just have a line going through it, or a line going through a wall, for that matter. So let's just tick this, see if it'll work. Uh, no, I would not like this to attach. So look at this in 3D view. Okay. Well, there you go, you can see the uh, wall there, and then there's a floor with the color difference. It's very nice. Uh, what am I missing? Well, let's just add a wall here. For a moment. Okay, so let's open, go back to our entry level. Go to home, wall, wall type. Let's go. Let's go retaining concrete. 300 mils should do it. Lock, lock line, uh, core face interior. And let's just draw a wall from left to right. Um, 3,100 maybe. Okay, doesn't really matter how long it is. So how much you want. Okay, let's have a look at this in 3D view. Ah. Well, that's not very practical. Or possible. So, there's no... It's just floating. So, to fix this, we'll go to Modify. Click the uh, wall. And in the Properties part, under Base Constraint, we'll change this to... Um, the foundation. So this wall is going to go all the way down the foundation. That fix it up. Okay, because this is really a founda founding foundation wall. Okay. Now it's not really an entry deck, you may have noticed at the moment. It's just a s s flat floor. You can't really use it to access this door at all. It's more like a balcony at the moment. Uh, so, to allow access, really, what we're going to need to do is 
uh, maybe bend this sloper down so, so it touches the uh, the ground and I'm running out of time, I'll probably do that in the next video so I'll just uh, shorten this down so uh, back to the floor, we've got to edit and we need to edit it because we can't just slope it all down because then uh, it wouldn't make sense when you walked out to be on a slope so I'll probably keep this half maybe straight and this half on a slope so it doesn't you know cause confusion when you walk outside so let's just drag this we can drag here and we'll make a triangle same angle and maybe here it's locked on there to that wall so let's go that much okay tick no I'm not like to attach 3D view yeah very nice okay I'll see you in the next video where I'll get the slow ball see ya